Hey, it's Melanie. Um, hope you're doing good today. Uh, here. Like my hair. Speaking of hair, ah, I used to have this color all the time, and then I thought I'd swap it out. And when the gray started coming back, I thought, oh, time to do it again. I like this color. Anyways, today our topic is going to be the importance of taking the time to do it right the first time. I know a lot of us, especially in today's busy world, um, we want to just mark things off our to-do list and um, especially when we have so many things to do. I uh, would just, if we can get it done, we just don't have to think about it anymore. And especially for brains like us, we just, if we can get it off our plates, we can move on. And so, as I said, sometimes it is hard to stay focused long enough to finish a task. But Rushing through or slapping something together just to say it's done can result in you having to do it two times. We all know that, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm not the only one who is guilty of doing something and having to redo it. Maybe sometimes just a little piece of it, but sometimes all of it. So, today I'm going to tell you a story about one of my projects now as you may or may not know i am a color i make coloring books and sell them online and um one of my coloring books i thought was fine i thought i had done it correctly and um worked all the kinks out and spent the right amount of time to um put it all together and get it up and selling but um, this is what happened. Somebody bought it recently and they contacted me and they informed me that there was a lot of things wrong with it and it was not very professional looking. Y'all know how that hurts, right? <laughs> but you can't let things be personal, right? This resulted in me having to go back to the beginning to resize everything, delete some pages, change the shading on some of the other pages, and change the fonts on even more pages so that they were all the same font because a lot of my coloring books um, are stories as well. They're not just coloring books. So, um, yes, I had used a different font on a couple pages from... I think what it was, was I corrected a image, and um, when I put the new book in, I couldn't remember what font I had used. So, I chose one that wasn't the right thing, even though it looked kind of like the same thing, it wasn't. And I just slapped it in there anyway. Didn't think anybody would notice, but apparently, there are some eagle eyes out there. And actually, I'm thankful for those eagle eyes, because... It makes me fix things and get them more professional looking. So, thankfully, with the convenience and ease of being able to reach out and stay in contact with creator and consumers, fixing issues like this can be done before negative reviews are just left angrily on selling platforms. Like, I don't know about you, but I've read some inter um, some reviews on Amazon products I was interested in and people were not kind and you know people read those reviews before they decide to buy so too many and people aren't buying your project anymore right so thanks to my customer you know who you are for your kindness patience and understanding and allowing me to fix my boo-boo and even to go on 
and for you to even go on and purchase more than one product regardless and as for you all if you think it is so hard to stay focused enough to complete a certain task the first time perhaps you could find someone else to do it or yeah, you there are world is wonderful nowadays um there's services out there where you could um hire someone within your price range um they may not be in the same country as you but um everybody needs to work right and that's the great thing about this modern society is everybody has a chance to do that now as long as you have the internet so um we no longer have to do all aspects of our projects, even when we're not good at them, or we don't like them, or can't stay focused on them. Because we can either go hire somebody on Fiverr, or um, places like that, or we can go on Facebook um, groups and barter with other service providers and see if you can work out a deal for you do something for them, they do something for you. Everybody's got a skill set, and you never know what you can figure out until you check into it, right? But nowadays, it's so easy to work together to create products. And um, there's even services that done for you content, like PLR providers. And they make the coloring books and whatever, and you just have to um, tweak things a little and... Uh, make a cover page and do a few things that are m making the product your own different from the other people who may have bought those packages and You're ready to rock and roll and you just have to market But anyway, that's my message for today. Um, I just want to remind you that it really Does not take that much extra time to do things right the first time because you never know what having to do things or what negative things could happen from having to do things twice. So, I uh, hope you got something out of this. And um, until next time, take care, be safe, and have fun.